In tutorial 16, we'll cover spectral enhancement using tools in Spatial Analyst and ArcMap. We'll create band ratios and vegetation indices. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research, with funding from the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED. In Arc Toolbox, we'll be working with the Math Sub Toolbox of Spatial Analyst. Right now, all of our Landsat bands are in integer format. We need to convert our bands from integer data to float data before we can perform spectral enhancement. Open the Float tool, which is found under the Math Sub Toolbox. Set your input raster that you want to convert. I'm going to start with band 4. Name the output so you know what it is, and click OK. My new float layer appears to be exactly the same, but if I click on the Identify tool, and click anywhere in the image, I can see my pixel values now contain decimal places, which is important for the next steps that we will follow. You can see here that I've already converted band 3 to a float layer as well, using the same steps I just covered for band 4. Now we're ready to create a band ratio. Go to the Math sub toolbox and open the Divide tool. A simple band ratio is just dividing the values in one band by another. Band ratios and their uses are covered in more depth in the written tutorial. We're doing a 4-3 ratio here, so set your input raster to the float version of band 4. And your second input raster to the float version of band 3. Rename your output, and click OK. The 4-3 ratio enhances the presence of vegetation. So I'm going to zoom into the forested mountains to take a closer look. I can see brighter tones on the left-hand side of my map, indicating dense vegetation in a few areas. This scene is from March, so only conifers will show up. You can do any simple index using the same technique. Now we'll create another index, square root of near-infrared divided by red. Under the Math sub toolbox, open the Square Root tool. When we made the 4 3 band ratio, we divided the near infrared band by the red band, so set that result as your input. Rename the output and click OK. We can see this index is a little brighter and sharper than without the square root. There's another way to calculate the same result, which would be faster if we hadn't already done the 4-3 band ratio. Under the Map Algebra sub toolbox of Spatial Analyst, open the raster calculator. In this box, we can enter in an exact equation of what we want and do it in one step, but we have to enter in our equation very carefully. First go to the Functions menu on the far right and scroll down to find Square Root which is under the math tools. Double click on the name to add it to the equation box. Inside the parentheses we can divide band 4 by band 3. Double click on the layer name to add it to the equation. Then select the divide operator. Then add the float band 3. Rename your output and click OK. My new output is exactly the same as the result from first doing the band ratio, then the square root tool, but I did it in one step and created only one raster dataset. Continue to tutorial 16b for learning two ways to calculate NDVI, another important vegetation index.